All right, so this video I am going to be recording right now. This video is justification of my decision concerning Vatican. And precisely I am referring to the video right here. This here, exactly this video. It's about who brought murderous cancer human experimentation tools to Slovenia with idea to experiment in the beginning 95. It was not the idea to experiment on me. It's behind the idea of experimenting on me. It was behind the butchery. This is concerning Vatican. It's concerning several popes beginning the 1995 Polish Pope John Paul, who was the first one to get involved in this. For nothing really that would uh, bring anything positive to me, for all the worse I can say. And still I have refrained myself from condemning it. Eventually, I did condemn this in 2021, but I don't want to go into this in respect to Pope John, Paul, John Paul. Um, let me be very, very detailed why. Uh, actually, more about reasons behind this murderous cancer human experimentation, because it was more than just human experimentation. This was just something that accompanied lengthy hours of brainwash right in front of the computer. When I say lengthy hours, I mean severe sleep deprivation that went on along this <laughs> cancerous uh, body, my body that they infested with a cancer. Uh, exercise severe sleep deprivation had me sit in front of the computer after they exercised also torture and it would be torture they would distribute me throughout the world and engage in torture in torture however unfortunately also vatican alone was involved not only popes but also priests so you could say a roman catholic church indeed Still, I wouldn't go and condemn one for doing that. Um, all through, I feel that the three popes have completely failed. I was trying to avoid these issues as much as possible because I'm from Slovenia. Not so much because I'm from Slovenia, but because I always felt that we should be part of the European Union. I always felt that we are part of the European cultures, religious-wise, ethnicity-wise, socio-economical, um, not only cooperation, but mutual uh, human relation exchange-wise, However, based on extremely, extremely insincere and criminal involvement of the sides for which I have campaigned my entire life, uh, during what used to be still Yugoslavia, the stuff I did, they would have killed me on the spot. You know, and the price that I paid to push the idea, European Union idea, the idea about the West in this little Slovenia was incredibly high and way too high when I, again, I'm going to outline you this stuff here. This is the video to see, to understand what kind of mentality have I encountered finally in this so much wanted European Union and more than anything the newly founded, founded homeland, such as United States of America. This, 
this is the video this is the video to watch i'm extremely proud of that video but i want to be very very detailed in respect to vatican which i also have rejected vatican i have rejected i'm going to tell you i could reject one for many reasons I condemn torture, which took place based on what I have observed, so that one could approach closer to Orthodox Russian um, authority. Yeah, it was about, especially under the Pope Francis, about increasing the number of followers, increasing the I'm not going to say popularity, but influence. It appeared to me the whole thing like a crusade. It appeared to me like um i'm holding the hands like this because i felt like strangling the world you know i'm gonna repeat to you like choking the world with the issue of church power that's what i got impression under the pope francis it was like this, and I stated that we traveled to Amazona, to, to, to South America, to Mexico, and so on, to poor parts of South America, so that, uh, really, in a very, very modest way, Pope traveled, had me alongside to locations where they opened new factories, schools, and stuff like this, Brazilian government, Mexican government, and so on, I crowned one as a king of Latinos. That's what I wanted. I wanted to help as much as possible. But based on my observations, I've come to conclusion to also give you that other part and why I have rejected just now also Vatican along other Western institutions, governments. Well, it wasn't all that. Bolsonaro personally entrusted me that they had people, impoverished people, wait in line for jobs, for schools, but sometimes starved them really, really good so that Pope could be the one that would open the doors of the school, open the doors of the factory appeared in a positive moment and so on. Okay, something I don't get into it. Torture definitely took place on more occasions than what I could count in his presence. Pope felt that I should be humbled, humble, punished, from my views, he felt he had the right, not only the authority to exercise something like this, for what appeared was uh, Sega the world for better tomorrow. To demonstrate uh, or to obtain, in Slovenian language, you say naklonjenost. I would say admissibility from Orthodox, Russian Orthodox Church, favorability, if you like, something in that sense. With exactly what I stated, I was quiet, never humble, and you know, I always wanted to learn more. And, you know, as I stated here, I touched this subject here, a very, very important subject for me. Because it's more than 
with idea to experiment with idea is neighbor dr Iger Kotter stated do you feel this do you hear this you know and I would be like do you feel what what he claimed he got a directed energy weapon so he was trying to drive me insane with a paranoia on ability to use directed energy weapons idea to drive one insane depicting him the power over his body not only holding him in a possession drugged up but pushing down throat of an individual tortured infested with a cancer idea on how this health issues are produced by some kind of directed energy weapon in one when it was actually exactly what i described inside of this video involved um it's more than just about idea to torture to butcher with human experimentation cancer related human experimentation it was about the outcome of this cancer human experimentation um, it was about torture terror beatings extortion playing you down all the time about you know sitting you after the torture sessions sitting you in front of the computer they would torture you for one month then they would bring you in front of the computer and sit you in front of the computer with the news they created with the news they would post in the future on the internet and through which they would want you to see the torture abuse that took place against you I mean, it was such such a malicious such a bad person as i was during mk ultra under mk ultra never in the real world but under mk ultra is what i was guilty so much of it i was guilty of everything of everything that never ever existed anywhere but of something they needed so they could even exist talking to you today vatican talking to you pope francis you are a seed of satan in my eyes you needed this torture mk ultra torture so you could apologize heaven and hell so that you could apologize existence of something that did not exist you are hunting evil by creating evil yourself that's why i named you the son of satan and when you tortured me also with a journalist with the people that u.s government have hired buckingham palace royals british royals have hired and other governments have hired for them to portray them the way they want to be seen as their issues their agenda political agenda and when you participated in this stuff and on the side you claim me that you didn't know that you learned about from other popes about this case yet you literally played with the suffering with my suffering when when i was subjected to the torture by these people you witnessed you definitely did not come out as somebody who would present anything good god therefore but something else which and no surprise to me because this was your circle of the people the circle of the people that you arranged you arranged with the people that had a completely identical mentality as joseph stalin until now talking about the holodomor talking about milan kuchan here talking about bort pahor that personally meet you people from slovenia 
people like Putin, basically, people that do crime in Ukraine, people that did killing, people that have not blood coming out of their eyes, as Donald Trump stated, and whom you have also met in Vatican, just like Elon Musk and many other criminals. But really, they have hands covered with blood. You know? Uh, so, it wasn't about this thing here. You know, it wasn't about with idea to experiment, but more about idea in your head, just like in the heads of Buckingham or the Royals, or the British Royals in Washington, D.C. In your head, in your Vatican head, it was more about what the butchery, human butchery, which I refer to as a human experimentation, would have in it for you. What this would actually, what you could, hmm, how would you say this in Slovenian, I would say, istržiti, whatever you would yield, profit from with it at the end. That's what the fuck this was all. And I don't beg you for pardon. That's what this was more to you than anything else. What would you get out of it? You know? What would you what you what would you be able what you would be able to capitalize out of it? And it was this idea that appealed to you that would that you counted on. You would capitalize, you would earn. You, know, you claim that you had this desire, this wish, that you would admit this case, that you would recognize this case. This is not about recognizing. This is really admission. When you get the criminal, when you catch the criminal, the criminal can only confess. With your presence, with the stuff you are involved in it, just like Donald Trump, just like Elon Musk, just like all others, you are completely based on your, what you claim me that you had no idea about, that you wanted to learn about this stuff and this and that. No, sir, you, you learned all about that stuff. Your institution knew all about basically what went on. And it was more than that. You needed this. You needed this so that you could portray the crime through your eyes to the world as portraying yourself as something higher, as something bigger, as something more, as something closer to God. In my opinion, personal, I don't believe that you believe in God. I don't think that you have absolutely anything to do with God. And I'm certain God would not want to have anything to do with the Vatican based on what I have seen. I think that God is disgusted with you. I think that he can't even see you. I think that you make one more disgusted than anybody else on this world. Because you claim to be close to him. You claim to represent one. Do you understand me? There's a big difference between you and Donald Trump. Donald Trump knows he's a shit. And others do too. But you are trying to present yourself as something. You're an imposter. You're no good. And I don't think any of your popes was any good. They cried. They did this. They did that. It was all kinds of stuff. But in their eyes, there were tears of other people. Whom, just like a mainstream media, you have um, covered one way or another, basically. You drawn them either in tears or in... Whichever, with whichever issues, uh, but that's all there ever was. You saw yourself through other institutions, which I think the politic was much more important to you than a religious, spiritual view on the world, on your believers and your followers. That's why I don't want to have absolutely anything to do with you, to make myself clear. That's why this video... I saw this video here, uh, actually this picture here, and you know, this was not even the first time. 
So when I see this stuff here with Elon Musk, you know who Elon Musk is? Elon Musk had more than just two wives. He had hoard in Poland, consumed and drugs, cocaine, all kinds of drugs. He participated in orgies. He screwed women, destroyed their lives literally with the drugs. This is not a saint. It's insane. And look where he's standing next to whom. You know, Pope, I understand that you would love to resolve this case so that you could be seen in something. But I just think you are completely indifferent from the guy you are next to who would like to get maybe 200 billions more. Your views are completely indifferent. You are... Hmm. I don't know how you say in English to people that are just, well, yeah, megaloman, megalomaniac. That's people that are never satisfied. They just want one more thing and just one more. And if they could get just one more thing, and that's exactly how my life was screwed up. It never was enough. If Jesse could be a little bit more, if just could be one more thing, and it could be just one more thing, and just one more thing, and just one more thing. And that's how, in my case, went 28 years of my life to hell because of people like you. So you must not wonder, you must not be surprised for me to condemn you as much as I possibly can condemn anybody. But to make my heart light, to come closer to God. This was something I was bound. I had to do this. To have an easier, to have a better tomorrow. To have clearer head, to have mentally, to be mentally more stable. Because that's exactly what happens when we push away demons from us. And we liberate ourselves from demons. And there's no bigger demon than when we turn conscience to ourselves. When we turn, yeah, exactly what I stated. When we turn back to ourselves and, for God's sake, are in a really, really bad. No, well, I am in a really bad situation because of what I previously already have explained to you. And so that I would go and uh, push forward something like this, this is completely out of consideration. It does not come, it doesn't come into, it doesn't come into play. You got your things going, uh, but this is just really, really, I have, I had nothing to do with it, and I don't want to have nothing to do with it. I want to be free. Because God brought me to this world for more than just what, as you condemn, is pornography while standing next to the people like this. Now, something you oftentimes have mentioned me and uh, condemned and, um, and so on and so forth. But, you know, it's really about other issues. It's about the way you, just like others, just like other Illuminatis, you played on that cancer card on how I'm going to be struggling, basically, to stay alive, to stay afloat, to stay alive, basically. And you counted on how I'm going to be broken and morally and physically. And sure enough, sooner than later, I'm going to sell my soul to Satan. That's why I said that you are a prince of dark. You are a dark prince. 
just like two other popes. I don't see anything in you I could possibly relate to to you. Um, I don't have any regrets for my past through which I have supported Roman Catholic religion, Christianity, uh, because, you know, there is a way to learn. And as long as we are willing to learn, we learn. That's all I wanted to say for this video. This here, these are the videos. This here. For me, this here was a revelation. It sure was unpleasant to be at the computer sleep deprived, you know, for one month on a beating, on a torture, on the death threat tour, then you would be humiliations, all kinds of stuff, then you would be seated in front of the computer and you would have this so-called journalists, yeah, the journalists, and you would have these journalists coming in your face, and it wasn't only journalists, it was also human rights activists, human rights people that were coming, that would get in your face and they would start to give you the feedbacks, exactly how you should pursue the news you're going to see that you're not going to forget this and that and so on and you know sure understood that today i understand i did not understood that eventually you're going to have to trigger that eventually you're going to have to play so low eventually you're going to have to go through cancer issues to with idea to basically choke me to the degree that I will become humble. I'm gonna sell my soul to Satan basically. I never, never believe that your masters, Francis, Pope Francis, those in London, those in Washington DC, Are gonna go as low as this never ever as as a firm supporter of these people as i was as a firm supporter of brussels of european union of berlin and all these ideas about west freedom related issues never ever have i imagined that ruining somebody's life taking away from one 28 years of life eventually is going to end up like it did today. But for today, I am grateful to Lord Almighty. I am grateful to God, of which anyone with idea that would deprive me, I completely refrain myself from idea that I would abandon one that I would distance myself from one because of the human beings, because of the people like yourself. You are as rotten as anything possibly could be. Thanks for watching this video. This was a video about the Vatican. Right, it's one of the issues which I touched. Sure, I'm gonna continue to, to visit churches and see myself in his image. Sure, I'm going to remain devoted to him. I cannot afford myself to see myself as a godless person. Live like somebody that see him in himself in in as well basically the same thing as these people in london seeing themselves i'm not going to go into it but these are the people that you all of you think that you got it all right that you're right because 
you can do this because you are entitled to do this to the people. And that's why the way it, it, it is, that's what it, the way it should be. But I think you're wrong. I think that you're wrong. I could not be any one of you. I don't see myself in any of you. So this was the video on Vatican in particular. And it's also related to this video and to another issue which I have created also to this video. I am going to post both links right below. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time.